Hi everyone, it's Suzanne from Sun Stamping with another video for you today. Um, this is definitely celebrating some of our new Christmas papers um, from the uh, Designer Series pack. And I, cho um, I chose the green one in here. Anyway, um, super cute little box. And oh, I wanted to show you what it was inspired by. Sorry, I had to get up from my desk. Um, as you know, I'm a hairdresser. And this is actually what um, hair color comes in. It's a tube. So when I got um, a hold of this, I mean, I work with this every day. Uh, I use Joico. And I thought, um, yeah, I thought it was like the perfect size for um, tea lights. <laughs> Believe it or not, this holds eight tea lights. So I'm pretty impressed. Um, it actually took me a bit of math to work it out. But anyway, that was the inspiration box. And this is what I came up with. Super cute. These are Ikea candles inside. I'll show you how to open. Just like that, just like a tube of color. Um, and these are like Ikea, regular Ikea brand. I think they're vanilla. Yeah, it smells like vanilla in there. And you know me, I'm a crazy vanilla person. So I thought this would be something really simple to make. Very simple instructions. Okay, so we're gonna need our scoring tool. Sorry, I got lots of tools over here. Um, I'm calling this the stars box. And we need a piece of cardstock, um, nine and three quarter inches this way and six and a half this way. So with your long side up at the top, I'm going to put my notes over here so I don't have to twist my head. My neck is going to kill me. Okay, so the long side at the top, we are going to score at a half an inch. Just get that. Excellent. So one and three quarters. Eight. And nine and a quarter. Turn it round. We're going to score at one and a quarter, two and seven eighths, four and an eighth, and five and three quarters. There we go. Okay, switching off. Okay, so facing it this way. There is a smaller side at the top and that's going to be the piece that folds in to secure the box. And these are all our sides. So I'm going to burnish, fold and burnish everything. And these are the little tabs that go on the inside. These guys. Okay. So, with that smaller band here, we are going to cut. Hang on, I got to turn my instructions upside down so I don't turn it the wrong way. <laughs> All right, so I don't cut the wrong way. Um, I'm going to take this whole section. And up, and up. I'm going to fold that guy in, flip it over, and then I'm just going to use the same momentum. And that way I get fairly even tabs for the inside. And one thing that I forgot to do is pull out my punch my little contraband corner rounder. I'm sorry it's not stamping up. Until it breaks. That one will do. And then I'm just going to wedge in on the tabs just a tad just so that it helps. It doesn't prevent any gaping or anything like that. Okay. Come on. 
So same with this side, we're going to just edge in on that one and cut up and down all three. I'm going to fold that fella in and I'm going to fold it down again so that I get the two side tabs and I just want to make them equal. I don't know, I'm a Virgo. It's something to be said about having equal tabs. It drives me a little nuts if they're not equal, all higgledy piggledy cut. Like, let's be consistent here. If you're going to make the time to do a box, do it. Make it look pretty, but it is just paper, so don't stress about it. Oh, and I forgot to get my adhesive out here, too. So, the DSP you will need, turn my book the right way, is um, 6 by 1 and 3 eighths. I know it's a little awkward. Sorry, I don't usually tape on camera. Okay, so let's see where the front of the box shall go. That's the bottom, so I'm going to make that on the top. So, oops, and I have to round those corners too. Oh, everything's behind. Backwards today. Okay. There. Completed job. So, at this point, um, you can put the sticky on, but don't take it off just yet. Oh, there's fuzz. There's still fuzz. I'll get it in a second. So right close to the edge. And obviously, if uh, you feel that one strip isn't going to be good enough, if your candles are exceptionally heavy, you can um, put more on. Trust me, the math in this one was a little nutty for me. So that's how it's going to go together. And the reason why I'm not putting it together right now is because if you wanted to run it through your big shot like I did for this to make the little stars go right ahead. So what you should actually have is something that looks like this. So. Oh, and I forgot to sticky tape this, so I'm going to have to force you guys watching another sticky business. So I just gently, um, I sort of measured where the middle is on that lid, and um, I ended up having to fold. I think I folded something like that. I just had to fold in one little edge, and then I was able to punch the... Um, using the, what did I use? Of course you want to know. Stars flame, Framelit dies. I just used the small one, the smallest. And I was left over with these three little guys. So, um, what this, I have a two-way glue, glue pen and I have my tweezers. So, I'm flipping the stars. I suppose you could do that one too. That would be kind of fun. Hey, I'm going to do that just to be different. So I'm just dabbing the two-way glue on the edges. That looks so cool. I didn't think of that. It's amazing what happens when you're doing a project for the second time and you're like, oh, how does, how about that? I guess that's all about crafting. You can see my little middle dot that I had made and then I just sort of eyeballed it. I mean, you know, most of us do kind of eyeball things if this way and that way. I suppose you could use mini glue dots, you know, if you wanted to, but I kind of just wanted a really good um, and flat. I didn't want any dimension. Oops. I best get that dot off now or else I won't be able to when the box is actually made. Okay, that'll have to do, Donkey. Okay, 
What's next? Sticky strip removal. Folding in half, as you've seen me do a million times, and then nice and cleanly. Fold the box in, and oh, don't forget the candles. They go in two at a time. Two, four, ah, there goes my glue. Six, eight. Look at, I mean, you could not ask for a more perfect fit. Oh, that's so cute. It's a little opposite, eh? Okay. Um, I want to do a little stamping, I promised. I would do just a tad. So, today I am using the Get Your Santa On. <laughs> it's so cute. I love this guy. I'm using A Merry Little Wish. Um, and I'm going to use Sahara Sand, which is, oh my goodness, it is really almost out. It's not very juicy at all. And I was told that the other ink pads, the ones that they had before the, um, the foamy ones, you didn't have to refill as often, but you do have to refill this, these ones a little bit more often. So this is the word window punch. And this is the, oh, modern something, modern label, I think. And then a hole punch, not stamping up, but I got it from a craft store somewhere. And again, I'm just going to take a little bit of the dimensionals, the edges, and Aww. so um, I was I was having a little problem with my um, linen thread, and it uh, sort of unspooled on me, so I just cut a length and threw it over to the side. Um, if it ever comes out kinky, just um, take your nail on your finger and sort of, you can curl it up a little bit, Sim similar like a ribbon. Similarly like a ribbon. So I'm just going to make a little loop, put the loop in the hole. Oh my gosh, my fingers aren't working. I'm predominantly right-handed, that's why lefty's not doing so well. And hopefully that's going to be okay. So I'm putting it in underneath and I can see it sort of peeping through. Sometimes my tools from jewelry actually come in quite handy. <laughs> and that's all. So that was a pair of tweezers. I'm sure you'll be able to figure it out how you want, how you want to fetch it, or if you want to just put a little dimensional on. I to be honest, I was really contemplating that um, not to put anything in it, on it, stamping wise. What the heck is going on? <laughs> oh, the linen thread is like my enemy today, my frenemy. I love this stuff, but it's not working. It's got a weird kink in it. Okay. There. Oh my gosh, this is painful, sorry. I'll just get going. Quit fussing. Yeah, it was be, just because it was so cute on its own and I really didn't want to do a heck of a lot. So I figured if I had the tag sort of hang off a little bit, that would be okay. And then I just wanted to take some embellishments these are basic rhinestones and I'm just going to plunk in the center of each star there you go 
Don't worry about writing anything down um, in the video. I will definitely uh, write this, all the dimensions and the scoring and whatnot on my blog, sunstampin.com. Hope you like this little Christmas project. Um, yeah, and if you need any of the products that I mentioned in the video today, I'm going to have links to the um, to the products that I used on the bottom of in my blog. I hope you enjoyed this and um, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.